had to be the weirdest exhale I've ever done. Chimeco! Oh! I killed the Chimeco! That team boss is gonna kill me! Oh god! Okay, enough with me being weird. I think we've all had enough of that. Anyway, hey everybody, it's Cool Goldfinch, and welcome back to more Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm! In the last episode, we hung on to this stupid thing because it doesn't want us to fall. In the last episode, we got through the first half of the tuning exam. Ba Can I stop running into those things and just jump around for the nice people? In the last episode, we... If I can get through the sentence... Okay, good, I can. In the last episode, we made it for the, through the first half of the tuning exam just barely in time. Jeez. And we started the second half with Sakura being knocked out of the prelims in the fighting part of the tuning exam. However, we have not seen anybody else attempt the tuning exam yet. So I think that's what we'll be seeing in this episode because there is no one around for us to help yet. So we can't possibly get any more XP. So if I'm correct, people's or help or missions should start showing up within the next two missions. But we'll see how things go. And ninja tools in a whirlwind. Sakura and Ino ended up knocking each other out. In the tuning exam, preliminaries moved on to the next battle. 1010 versus Tamari of the Sand. Would 1010's ninja tools stand up against the power of the master wood manipulator Tamari and her fans? I don't know. Ask somebody popular. <laughs> Get it? Popular fans? <laughs> it's bad. Sakura's... F you couldn't put more effort into that description, really. Sucker's fight against Eno is over, and next is 1010 versus Tamari. Both of them look scary, already fired up and ready to go. A flurry of ninja tools and whirlwinds! Clash of Akunoichi rivalry! Excuse me, that is a mispronunciation. It's not Kunoichi, it's Kunoichi. Okay. And if I'm wrong about that, uh, you guys will never let me live that one down. I'll bring this match to an end real quick. I'll play with you just to kill time. Hey, I have two buns in my hair while you have four little spiky things. Don't go messing with me. Plus, I have blades. These will rip through your freaking fans. You have no chance. However, spoiler alert... 1010 ends up losing this battle even though we're supposed to win it. Which I don't get. In these games, you're supposed to win the fights you lose. Just because you're playing as a good person. Honestly, either make it so that you lose no matter what, or have you play as the winning person. Because this just confuses me every single time. Now, die! I guess I could explain a little bit about 1010 here. She's a master of ninja tools, as you can see. And her, she has all the same movesets as everybody else, but as you can see, she loves blades. And the perspective is way off there. And tomorrow, as you can see, uses wind. It's actually very interesting, both of them. And yeah, tomorrow ends up winning, big surprise. Somehow, Fan beats Sharp Ninja Tools. Don't ask me how, it just does. No, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Throw the blue freaking kunais at her. Come on, you got this. I said throw the blue freaking kunais. Throw, how about this? Throw the fr blue freaking kunais and hit. Thank you. Jeez. How many times do I have to ask? Ugh, I, have to, I have to ask less for you to go in the kitchen and make me a sandwich. I mean, really. This shouldn't be that much harder. I'm so sorry. I did not mean to offend anybody if I did. I'm tired now. Um, all you did was twirl your finger, but okay. And you're supposed to have lost, I mean, really? Like, really? Pink man. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just being so random today. Wow, it's already been like five minutes. At least for me it has. It's probably like 4 minutes, 30 seconds for you guys. Or around there. I'm great. Mission success. 2200 Ryo and Red Flower times 3. Secret scrolls have appeared. Diorama base, Wind of Whirlwind, treasure boxes have appeared. Okay. 
Still no freaking help. Like, what does it take to, you know, get people in need of our assistance around here? I mean, we're the best freaking ninja around, man. There should be more people that need our help. I mean, we're not even getting paid to do this, and I want to do it. Well, I shouldn't say that. We do get paid for each mission, so... You know... Hey, you know... <laughs> wow, that's a lot of freaking scrolls. How many have I collected so far? 1,091. Not bad. And I have to do that. Backtracking! And it's right... Right into the wall. I'm smart. I are smart. And... Okay. And some more easy scrolls. Okay. Uh, something interesting I guess we could talk about while I'm doing this is that there is a new Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm game planned to be coming out actually fairly soon. It's going to be called, for whatever reason, even though there's already a third game generations... For whatever reason, they're deciding to call it Ultimate Ninja Storm 3. And that new company that was in on Ultimate Ninja Generations, or Ultimate Ninja Storm Generations, and crap, I need. This is just like the uncut scene that I showed you. Um, okay, this is actually a better view. Shove yourself into the wall! Or pipe. Yeah, they're calling it Ultimate Ninja Storm 3. And honestly, I was like, oh, finally! Finally, they're making another storm game. Oh, I'm so happy. It's gonna be way better than Generations. But it mainly just sh the previews anyway have mainly shown the um the previews have just mainly shown the uh, uh before scenes like how Naruto got the Nine Tail Fox within him. Not really how um. Not really the rest of the story. So I'm going to do my research on this one. Like, it definitely looks good. You actually get to roam around and have the story happen instead of just like this where you're selecting the missions you want to do. Which is good. But I don't think it's worth it if it's just the beginning. I mean, if it is, that does look like they did a lot of work and they should be commended for it because it looks great. But, I mean, if you're going to do that much work and just like waste it you might as well just do the entire game like do this one over again if you wanted to or something and I mean you gotta have more than that so I'm just gonna wait until either gameplay from the story mode comes out or somebody else makes an LP of it first before I even think about LPing it or even buying it for that matter because I was so excited when I got Ultimate Ninja Storm I was like yes I get to play as all the characters yes and then it was poop. So, <laughs> no offense to anybody who likes that game. You're free to like it if you want. But I just personally don't like it. And I may have forgotten one scroll, but we're at eight minutes. I want to get to this next mission before the video ends. A battle between like foes. Ten Ten managed to drive Tamari into a corner, but in the end, Tamari was a stronger ninja. Just covering up for why we won, eh? Her counterattack decided Ten Ten's loss. The preliminaries moved on to the next match, where finally Naruto got his chance in the spotlight. His opponent? Fulfilled battle conditions. The greatest opponent of all. Ten Ten's flight, flight, fight is over, and it's next it's me! Finally, it's me, Naruto Uzumaki! My opponent is Kiba Inuzuka, the ninja hound user. No matter what he tries, he can't beat me! Mega competition between an almost identical pair! Showtime! The result of Naruto's training! I'm not gonna lose to you! A single blow's enough to take you out! I'm sure all of you guys out there are just like, oh, I want to hear about freaking awakening mode. You better tell me next episode or I'm going to freaking kill you. Well, we'll get there. The next time, I promise, the next time we can go into awakening mode, I will show it. Okay, it's my fault. I've been forgetting. I apologize. 
I've just seen too many comments about that, or any for that matter, by the time this is going up. But I'm I'm pretty sure that some will surface, at least at the bottom of this video, from my viewers. To commenters! Holy crap! What an idiot! <laughs> he just stopped right in front of me. Um, yeah, I'm. Some, something funny about this fight is that, I'm not kidding you, Naruto wins by farting in Kiba's face. Yeah, that is just how amazing Naruto is. His fart ends the match. Yeah. Like him, like Nintendo Capri Sun on st steroids. Maybe. I don't know what I'm talking about. Can you tell? <laughs> Unfortunately, Naruto's fart isn't an amazing attack here. And do we get the glitch? Ah, there's the glitch! Isn't it lovely? I think I'll leave it up just for you! You totally love me. <laughs> and I think that's the first time we've actually seen the glitch happen. I could be wrong, because, you know, I forget. We might have had it once before, but if you're ever wondering what I was talking about with the glitch, that's what it was. I wish they fixed that in this game, but, you know, whatever. What you can do about it. Mission success. Mission success. And I didn't even see what we got. But anyway, we got some secret scrolls. We got a new diorama base. Treasure boxes have appeared. And mission information, ha! I freaking called it! Ha ha! Anyway, um, I'm gonna come up with some topics to talk about for a second. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for episode number... 10, I believe. Yes, episode number 10, if I'm right. If I forgot what episode number I'm on already, that's sad. Anyway, see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to share this video if people comment about my next LP, even though it's only episode 10, if I'm right. Anyway, see ya.